right guys, we're going to be doing a complete replacement of furnace and a coil. Uh, flue pipe is okay, we can reuse the existing flue pipe that goes into B bed right here up through the roof. Um, going to need about three foot of four inch and two elbows to get into that B bed. Our gas line, um, we're going to possibly have to change it around because it doesn't look like it's bonded up here anyway. Um, have flex line track pipe that runs from down here on the floor up to the furnace. There is a shutoff valve, uh, but they cut too much of that uh, wrapping off of the flex line so it wouldn't be properly insulated. Return drop is okay, it's properly sized so we can reuse the existing return drop. We'll put a 5 inch into air medium filter down here on the bottom. Um, potentially We'll be able to do a humidifier um, if the customer would like one. The refrigerant lines are sized properly so we can reuse the refrigerant lines. They come out of the front of the coil, run up to the wall, and then right back down into this wall here, back down to the, uh, to the outside. And our condensation drain line runs out of the front of the unit and to the floor. The R above finished space, uh, there is a pan that's already built on the floor. So we can reuse that existing pan, but we will have to put a wet switch on the floor somewhere for, uh, for safety. That should be everything inside here. The next video will be of the breaker panel. It's a breaker panel. It's a cutler hammer breaker set or load center. And there's your information off of it. And then everything is clearly marked. We have a double 30 amp breaker there on the ceiling or on the top. And then. Um, there is a ground wire coming out of here that is bonding something, but I'm not sure what it's bonding, so... Condenser, the two and a half ton unit. Uh, we'll be changing out the disconnect box. We'll put a few disconnect down here. The refrigerant lines will be reused. We'll just cut a new piece of 